Times were tough when Tim Houston took office last August. Businesses were hoping to bounce back from COVID-19 restrictions that resulted in shutdowns. As a way to help small business owners get back on their feet, the provincial government provided some with a one-time grant up to $7,500. The Tories also pumped $12 million into the tourism industry to draw visitors to Nova Scotia. Another $13 million went to the Halifax International Airport to create new routes for travelers to explore. The province pushed past the 1 million mark in population in late 2021, and the PC party is looking to keep the growth going with help from a new $750,000 program. In hopes to retain young workers, more opportunity for skilled trades offers a provincial tax rebate for tradespeople under the age of 30 on the first $50,000 of income. The provincial unemployment rate has dropped since the Progressive Conservatives took power, falling from 7.8 to 5.9%. The real GDP expanded by 5.8% in 2021 and continued to see growth in the first half of 2022. To encourage people to shop local, the provincial government introduced Nova Scotia Loyal. But the program that is to reward residents for buying local goods is still in the works.